On this year's National Day of Prayer, we are confronted with the challenges of an invisible enemy, one that can only be defeated through unity and our nation's strength, love, and devotion to each other. All through history, Americans have unified in challenging moments and during our greatest times of need, we always turn to prayer. Today, I want to ask all of you to unite and pray to protect and give strength to those who are serving on the front lines of the coronavirus pandemic and provide comfort to those who have lost loved ones. In these uncertain times, I know it is hard not to gather in your places of worship, but we must keep our faith in God and pray for the courage and knowledge that better days are ahead of us. We will soon return to work and send our children back to school again. We will return to our places of worship, reunite with loved ones, attend sporting events, and gather with friends to share some laughter. Our dear citizens, through prayer and faith, we will get through this together. I am so proud of the way all of you have responded to this crisis. When we reach out to our Lord, let us remember, I can do everything through him who gives me strength. God bless you all, and God bless the United States of America. On this National Day of Prayer, America is engaged in a fierce battle against a very terrible disease. Throughout our history, in times of challenge, our people have always called upon the gift of faith, the blessing of belief, the power of prayer, and the eternal glory of God. I ask all Americans to join their voices and their hearts in spiritual union as we ask our Lord in heaven for strength and solace, for courage and comfort, for hope and healing, for recovery, and for renewal. In recent days and weeks, our country has endured a grave hardship. We pray for every family stricken with grief and devastated with a tragic loss. We pray for the doctors, the nurses, and first responders waging war against the invisible enemy. We pray for the scientists and researchers, pioneer treatments, that they find therapies and vaccines and that they find them soon. We pray for the frontline workers keeping our nation fed, nourished, and safe and secure. May God watch over them all. We are honored to have with us today our amazing Vice President Mike Pence and his wonderful wife, Carrot, great friends of our nation and great friends of mine and Melania's. And somebody's done an incredible job, not only as Vice President, but as heading the task force, which has come up with so many solutions and ideas and things that we didn't even think about two months ago. We're also profoundly grateful to be joined by many faith leaders who are helping to care for our neighbors in their hour of need. Thank you all for providing meals to families, medical supplies to hospitals, and for providing spiritual strength and encouragement to your communities. Very important people, very respected people, and very much loved people. In every part of our country, we've seen grace of God through the love and devotion of our fellow citizens. As Scripture assures us, the Lord your God is not your midst, a mighty one who will save. And I think it's, uh, I think it's so true. Think of that. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. We've been reminded once again that God has blessed our land with heroes of faith. 